Recording in progress. I didn't. It's already it's, it's, it's recording. Oh. Okay. It's recording. recording Hi. 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 All right. Today we are going to talk about dialogue. So we need to add some dialogue yeah. into our stories. So part of what you need to do is put dialogue into your into the fiction narrative that you are working on. Now, dialogue is the exact words that a character says. Okay? We did talk about dialogue when we talked about our personal narratives, remember? Remember? Okay? The exact words that a character says is called a dialogue. That's the quote. That's what's being said. She told us that's, what is that called? That's the person that told us. But instead of saying the person that told us, we say it's the tag. Okay. So the tag is where the author tells us who is speaking. Are you listening? Okay. So. We can take the tag and we can put the tag at the beginning of our dialogue, or we can put the tag at the end of our dialogue. Okay. So, for example, what do I need to start when somebody, when if I'm going to do an exact quote, what do I start with? Quotation marks. Okay, and that is shift and the comma. Oopsies. Huh? Nope, I am in slide 13. Sorry, slide 13. Shh. What? Oh, sorry. All right, so we're going to do the tag at the end. So I'm going to do the quotation marks. And then I'm always going to start my quotation with a capital letter. Hi. Then I'm going to put a comma quotation mark. Yes. Yes. Case is. Okay, so she went to the zoo, said Case. Okay, here I have, this is my tag at the end. Could I say, I didn't know that, I said. Nope, because why, it sounds weird if you say, I didn't know that I said. But it doesn't sound weird if you say, I didn't know that I said, right? So that punctuation tells us that we need to pause. Just like this punctuation, this comma up here tells us that we need to pause. So it gives our reader a clue of what they're supposed to do. The quotation marks tell our reader that they have to speak in a certain way that they want their character to, they want the character to speak. Okay. Oh, that's not what you want. So your quotation marks is shift and if you, so this, the apostrophe. So if you do shift and the apostrophe key, then you're gonna get quotation marks, okay? Now, sometimes I can say who is speaking before I say what they said. You have an example case? What? Okay, so if you say, 
I said that something, then you're just paraphrasing and you're not going to be, you're not, it's not going to be an exact quote. Okay. But if you say, I said, as you said, I said, I have an example. Okay. So let's notice what it, punctuation I used here. I said, comma, I have an example. So I'm always going to put a comma in between the tag and the quotation marks when I have the tag at the beginning. Right? Lydia. Oh. That is a wonderful question, and I'm going to repeat it to make sure that it's heard on here. So Lydia just asked if I have two people talking and they're talking back and forth, do I have to keep on saying she said, she, he said, she, you know, like back and forth, do I have to have a tag every time? And the answer to that question is no. Once you have established the order in which they're speaking, so the first two quotes, you're going to say, I said, and then he said, then you don't, then if you're going back and forth, then you don't need to keep on saying, you don't need to necessarily keep putting tags on it. Because every time there's a new speaker, you need to do what? New speaker, new New speaker, new paragraph. So every time there's a new speaker, you're going to have a new paragraph. So your reader's going to know, oh, there's a new paragraph. That means the other person is talking, right? So you don't need to put tags. You didn't put a new paragraph every time a new speaker spoke? Right, so that's something that we're going to fix in our stories today. So when you go back and look at yours, first of all, look at any dialogue you already have in your story and make sure new speaker, new paragraph, make sure quotation marks around exactly what they said and make sure you have a tag when necessary. Then... And we might not, you might not have time for all of this today, but we're going to work on it again tomorrow. Then add some more dialogue to your story. Okay. Your story must have dialogue. Yes. Okay. All right, so we, because we only have about six minutes to work on it today, um, tomorrow I will give you a big chunk of time to work on it, okay? If we can start little bursts, they'll be like, okay, so I'm in the middle of a sentence, how am I going to put the one that I Okay, all right, so that is what you are doing today. Any questions?